Welcome to Adventures North. By North, I mean we're north of 60 in Northern Canada. And uh, I've been here for over a decade. And um, I guess what the purpose of this is, is to, uh, the intention is to make some videos to show family and friends back home, ones who haven't been able to make it up here yet. Just the, what Northern life is all about here, uh, where we are originally from back home uh, uh, at the East Coast in New Brunswick. But uh, as I say, I've been up here for, for quite some time. And uh, what better way to uh, introduce uh, people who are interested to Northern Living is uh, a tent in the middle of the woods, uh, something to, uh, to get away from uh, everyday life and uh, go relax and uh and live live in the woods for for however long uh that you need to relax for so um we have a new tent we already have one set up at uh, one of the uh, local lakes here um, i'll show you that a little bit later today but uh, what we're what i'm very excited is that we're new owners of a larger tent so what we have now is an 8x10 canvas wall tent um, it's set up right on the ice, so I have to disassemble it every year, uh, which is a pain in the ass, but uh, uh, this, we're going to set up on land and see if we can uh, keep it there permanently. Or as, as long as we comply with certain regulations, we should be able to keep it uh, regular uh, permanently. However, they say you're supposed to take it down seasonally. That's, uh, that's what they say. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty busy, so I'm not sure if they're going to enforce that or not. But uh, seems to be a lot of people doing that. And uh, we're going to we're going to join the train here and uh, and do it and experience that. Uh, we'll, we'll do that for for a couple of years and um, I'll take you along the way. So what we have here is a uh, is a 16 by 14 canvas wall tent. Uh, and we also extended the front end with a five foot enclosed porch. So it's, it's a pretty big tent compared to our eight by 10 that we have now. Uh, so we're, we're eight, uh, 14 feet wide and 21 feet essentially um, long with the porch. So I, I've never seen it uh, set up. Uh, I've only opened the zippers just to make sure that you know the poles are in here. And the tents in here and uh you know it's pretty hefty bags pretty heavy and i'm flying solo there today to get this set up i've been working on a uh, a platform um a solid structure platform to set this up on so i uh i have a couple of things just to finish up on that platform and then we're going to set this beast up today so inside this bag is my tent the canvas tent here and I believe I want to say this is the fly the rain fly to go over it I don't think that we got a floor so I can't imagine that being anything other than the fly these are the poles I'll find the zipper hefty bags very hefty bags there like almost like a vinyl waterproof material our poles and packaging and everything's still on here they take that off so yeah i'm excited we'll uh, we'll see what this uh, looks like at the end of the day all right so we're all loaded up here Whew, what a beast that was i tell you the poles weren't bad poles were probably about a hundred maybe a buck twenty uh but the canvas tent and the fly and that big one well, that's got to be about 300 pounds anyways and so getting that back into the lifted truck whew. anyway she's done um at least when i get out there i'll have some snow and ice and stuff to you know, test the durability of that, of that bag i can uh i can use the sliding action of the uh, of the slippery ice and snow to to get it at least to the platform anyhow but uh at least out there uh if i can't lift it up on the platform i, I can take it apart and take it uh, piece by piece there so it's all good that way but yeah, it's, yeah, that was a workout, I tell you. Anyways, uh, we're on our way. I'll uh, 
Uh, they're gonna stop off at Home Hardware, grab some uh, decking screws, and uh, I think that's about it. And we'll be on our way. Maybe uh, once we hit the ice road, because uh, I I can drive pretty much all almost all the way there anyway. But uh, once I hit the ice road, maybe I'll stamp some footage and stuff on there. So, like I say, I mean, I'm I'm not out here to. Uh, uh, the intention isn't to make to make a that big, you know, huge popular uh, YouTube channel or anything like that. But it's just, uh, you know, probably gonna start off private uh, private channel there and invite my friends and family from back home. And uh, I mean, if it if it expands from there and and. Uh, you know you're you're uh, stumbling across this channel uh if it's ever made public and uh and you're watching it geez you know thank you thank you and uh yeah hopefully you stick with me uh, i'm not that great of a of a talker here so this is my first video uh, i'll probably stumble over my words i'll probably uh threw throw a few curse words in there but uh, uh <laughs> you know i'm not i'm not that uh, funny of a guy either so but i'll uh at least you know we can hang out and you can see what uh what i'm doing this will be the first video of of a few there i've got a few different things that i'd like to do uh depending on the season so um yeah here we go so we'll uh we'll see you once we're out there welcome to ice road driving uh, it's a little rough. There's actually a lot of traffic on the uh, this road there today. This is like the fourth car that I've seen so far. Usually, maybe we can see one or two. Of course, we pass at the most narrow spot in the road here. So, ice roads, yeah. It, with the bigger speeds, like you know, more north. As I spent some time in the Arctic Circle, the uh, the roads are a lot wider. You have like semi-tractor trailers and stuff cruising along, and like I say, the uh, the speeds are a lot faster. So uh, driving along a nice road, you know, it makes a wake behind you in the water underneath the the, the, uh, the ice surface. So you know, if you're uh, if you're approaching vehicles and your wakes collide, you know, it just wreaks havoc on the ice there, potentially cracking it. And that's how, you know, you hear stories about transport trucks and stuff going through or cars going through as they're driving along, which, uh, which I, you know, they, they, they say, you know, you don't wear a seatbelt on ice roads because of that. I think that's the reason why they say that. But I, know, I, I heard that when I first moved up here. Don't wear seatbelts on ice roads, but I don't know. Yeah, the, uh, the roads are pretty good, pretty solid. I would think that you'd have more of a more of a chance hitting a snowbank at higher speeds, or doing a head-on collision, or smoking someone you know parked on the side of the road. Um, you know, it, the odds of that are probably higher than than actually going through the ice. So I don't know. You know, quick to get out of the vehicle quickly. Why they say don't wear the seatbelt, I think. But, you know, if uh, anyone knows of anything else, uh, any other reason behind that, just leave a comment. But, uh, you know, that's, that's philosophy that uh, we've kind of been living uh, since we've been up here. So, but, you know, this is a this is typical ice road that goes on like this for a little bit. May throw on a time lapse here in a little bit to, uh, you know, to, or not. I, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I tried a time lapse for you guys, but uh, uh, that was just too hard to handle uh, one hand on the wheel and, and one hand on the on the phone here. We all look at mounting uh, mounting something here in the truck for any recording equipment that I have. Like I said, right now I'm just using my phone, so bear with me. It's my first video. I'll uh, I'll get there. I'll. Uh, higher quality maybe or maybe not maybe this is what you guys like we'll see but uh you know i'm gonna flip you around here and we're on the approach to the 8x10 there right now and i think i'm just taking pictures i don't know how to flip myself around here i'm only gonna have to restart this video and uh shoot a new one 
So here's the uh, the homestead there right now. This is what we've had for the last couple of couple of years. With my uh, my skidoos and stuff like I said, I've been working on the the platform. And don't mind, don't mind the the broken windshield here. This is a northern windshield. They're all broken. But uh, this is the homestead, a fireplace out back. And uh, like I said, I've been working on the platform for a couple days, so I just you know left left the skidoos and the trailer out here. Uh, let me get this stall turned around here and we'll park and we'll get going. Well, here we are. This is our uh, little eight by 10. What a gorgeous day outside it is. It, uh, weather network says it's uh, minus 13, sunny. Uh, inside the tent here, uh, about minus four. If you look it right on, maybe minus five. So I don't know, uh, Fahrenheit, so for, for giggles, it's at minus 18, 17, 18 minus. That's oh, not even minus. There, come on now. Smart up. Bye. She's uh I'm, I'm used to dealing with minuses. That's that's plus. That's on the plus side. Oh Jesus. Plus twenty-two. Plus twenty-three degrees Fahrenheit. So this is our uh this is our hippie killer stove. Jeez, I hate this stove. My god. I don't have a big enough my my understanding someone recently told me I don't have a long enough draft here coming up but before she does does the 90 degree turn. I mean, I'm kind of, yeah, I mean, it's the hole's where the hole is, right? So, um, I don't know if I can do a 45 degree coming out, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I can do a 45 at that hole or not, but we'll see what happens with the new tent, where the hole is. I think it's on the side. So I'll get some stands for the camera. I don't have to walk you guys around like I'm shooting a camcorder. But I've seen some videos and stuff out there that are pretty well done. This is our little fire pit, outdoor fire pit. So Jamie's got the uh, uh, little gathering there where some work people are just going to use this uh, use this space there tomorrow. So we'll have that outdoor fire. Probably have an indoor fire going there too, just in case there's a chill you know, wind in the air or whatnot. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, but we'll see. Maybe I'll throw a few pallets somewhere around here and have a big pallet fire later on in the evening. But this is it. This is where we've been for the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's done as well. Just the pain in the ass about it is uh, having to tear it down and rebuild it every year. It's just on, uh, it's on platforms. Our platforms, my goodness, it's on pallets. Pallets just right on the ice there, and uh, you know, pallets are directly on ice. A little bit of plywood on top of that, and then I've got some gym mats, ones that you'd find in like at a home gym or something like that. They're not like industrial gym mats by any stretch of the imagination, but just cheap bombs from uh, from Canadian Tire. And uh, yeah, little uh, little bunk bed there. And so this uh, this is it's pretty comfortable to be able to sleep. Uh, two people, so myself and the child, will come out, uh, spend a couple, uh, come out a couple times there. Uh, me and the kid for uh, one night, and me and another kid for another night, and we've done that a couple times. But uh, it's not much bigger than uh, being able to accommodate two people it's really not even uh, some sitting space really especially when you get this be big beast of a of a stove going Whew, she does get hot and uh trying to sit anywhere close to it is is difficult to, uh, to but uh we bought this stove with the intention of uh 
of always getting the bigger one. So this stove wasn't bought for the, excuse me, for the eight by 10. This stove was bought for, uh, for a, a much larger tent. So I'm going to transfer this stove into the larger tent and, uh, and we'll see what we do for, for this guy here, whether we get a smaller stove or, or sell a tent or I imagine we're going to keep it, but anyhow, that's, uh, that's it. I'm going to load up, uh, get that beast of a sled out of the, uh, in the back of the truck there and and uh get her loaded up on the skidoo and start making our way to the new site Son of a bitch. What's this? You gotta go to video school. Video photography school, whatever it is. in one trip maybe it's all weight if it can't pull off the big hills and uh we'll offload one and carry on with the other and come back i guess it's no one around that's gonna bother it
bits anyways. I'm gonna prevent it from uh, in the front where the, uh, where the handle pokes through the side of it. The screws are coming in the side. You can't see where I kicked. Down by the front, screws coming inside. I don't want the bag to hit it. I'll show you what I mean. That's where I kick the handle where the, uh, where the screws are going in. I don't want it to poke the side of the bag. Oh, that might be too dark. We'll try it. See how it goes. So here we have it. One thing I'm noticing though on this iPhone is that the cold is really wreaking havoc. I'm wasting a lot of time trying to set the camera up, get a good angle and whatnot, and uh, it's exposed to cold. And the battery is almost halfway dead already. I do have an external battery pack to plug into, but because I know that the cold weather does this to phones. This is it. So we're, this is the water. So it would be nice to get out here on uh, in the summertime. Have to figure out how we're going to do that. Get a little rubber dinghy with a little four horsepower Honda outboard can uh, can try that. But there's a couple of portages to come through. This is an island, so we definitely need to uh, definitely need to come here by boat in the summertime if we come out here. Be nice. But here's the uh, here's the platform. Buddy of mine uh, hooked me up with some of these uh, some of these pallets. Man, they're fantastic! You know, heavy uh, heavy duty construction, pressure treated. Um, you know, I got a whole stack of these in preparation for uh, for a platform. But then, buddy, he's like, "Hey, you know, got access to some of these? You can have <laughs> freaking right." So instead of uh, just making shift a uh, you know, I had some blocking and stuff up underneath some broken up, busted pallets that are all multi-dimensional and whatnot. Figured that uh, since we had some good stuff, we'd lay down a good foundation here. So she'd uh, stay for a bit. So this is it. So this, uh, this row here, this first row, she's all good. She's all solid. She's all tacked down. And so I'm going to take uh, a few minutes and get this all uh, 
put these guys over here, tack them down, and then uh, we'll start with the tent. But this is this is where we're set up. This is where we're squatting. You know, it's uh, it's land that uh, they say that's available for use if uh, you know you maintain certain. Uh, characteristics with your uh, with your site like a tent if I were to build like an actual cabin here they'd post me and tell me to tear it down but uh, as long as I have a tent with a soft wood a uh, soft roof rather and uh, walls that are no longer than uh, no higher than four feet tall then uh, they say that's good so uh, besides the platform but uh, you know, it's, it's good. And then the area that I'm at, it's a little close to the water, but we're fire safe. So, I mean, we're, we're in an area where there's, you know, the trees are back away a bit. I mean, if I were to go further back, I'd be clear cutting a lot of trees on, on land that doesn't belong to me there. I do have a permit, but uh, I don't want to cut trees if I don't have to. So, I mean, this is, this is where it should be. So... All right, well, uh, we'll start lighting some wood and then uh, uh, flooring here and touch base here in a little bit. My foot's stuck. So, platform's done. I wish I uh, had better battery in the cold here because that would have been a hoot to uh, the video that and a lot of cursing and swearing. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert in anything. I, uh, I fumbled my way through things and if it works, that's that's great. Uh, a lot of times it doesn't. A lot of times it doesn't work, but uh, no, I try. I try. I've got a lot of people in my family good, uh, good with good with the trades, and they're probably scratching their heads at, uh, at what they saw already, thinking, "What in the heck is that? That's not. That's not right." But I don't know what right is. I just know what uh, what I got, and trying to fit what I got with what works. And this seems to work. It uh, seems pretty good and solid. I, uh, you know, made some mistakes along the way and uh, I had to correct it, but I wish I got that on video. I, I contemplated doing this whole thing on video, but uh, I just wanted to get it done, to, to be honest. Um, from this point on, it's it's good. Like, you know, I'll, I'll do the tent set up and, uh, you know, whenever we come out and, and play around with the tent, like there's going to be lots of things that we're going to do for the inside. And like, it, it's a big tent. So, you know, there's a living space and maybe a kitchen space and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I'm sure that we can play around with that. Um, but there would be other videos like, you know, right around the corner of where the 8x10 is. Uh, I've got a fishing shack, um, just a pop-up fishing shack all set up. I like to do some videos of, you know, some ice fishing and things like that. Um, it's getting to the end. I mean, as you can tell, like I'm not, I'm I'm in the uh, I'm I'm north of sixty here, and I'm I'm barely cold. I uh, um, it, it's getting into springtime, so you know the snow and ice and stuff is uh, it's gonna go fast, and uh, this season will be over. This this uh, this tent and ice fishing and stuff will definitely pick up uh, for next next winter for sure. But uh, coming into the springtime, you know, we've we've got boating season and, and things like that too, hiking and, and whatnot. We haven't done much hiking uh, since we've been up here, but we'll change that. We'll give you guys a, a tour of the local area anyways and things. But uh, I, I would like to get out here during the summertime at least anyways. So I'll bring you along for that too and uh, see what it's like. Um, 
see if I can put some uh, some wildlife cameras up and uh, see if we can capture something here. Um, my understanding is bears like to walk through here there in the summertime. So and uh, see if we can catch see if we can catch something on camera. So all that to say, ready for the tent. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how uh, you know you guys can comment that I should have done something and you know help me learn. Um, I don't know if I'll do a time lapse or whatnot. Again, I'm I'm worried about my battery dying, so you know I keep it on, yeah, you know, recording me the whole time, and and it won't be much of a video, and I won't even be able to show you the finished product. I'm sure, but uh, along the way, maybe we'll we'll take some some uh, some little snippet videos and whatnot. But here we go. Let's try her. What I will show you guys though, is the initial setup, the initial process anyways, the unpackaging, things like that. I'm excited for that. So. There we go. Lots of poles. Holy. Nice and light. I guess as a package, they're they're heavy, but really, really light. It's good. These must be the uh, the corner braces, so tie everything together. I'm confident with that. More. So yeah, this is this is just poles. That's a long one. I don't know how I'm gonna get that one in there. Come on. Come on. There you go. So I'm hoping that uh, the instructions are in the bag with the tent. I mean, I've, I've set these up before so I can fumble my way through it, but it'd be, it'd be nice to have a diagram of some sort to no. know which poles are meant for which and so forth. I mean, it, it may become evident. I'm sure it will, but again, I've never, I've never opened this package. I don't know, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. So. I'd say that the uh, long ones are for the roof, but they could also be for the walls that way. I'd say these are, it's a five foot wall up. So I imagine these guys are that, especially with the little foot plates, plastic foot plates. These guys are the ones that sit like this. I bet. <laughs> All right, well, foot plates, foot plates, foot plates, I'm sure will all go together. And these guys are wrapped at both ends. So imagine they're different than foot plates. Yep, let's get this out of here. I'll open up those boxes there too. All right, so things are laid out a little bit more. Uh, inside the boxes are the angle. Um, so these ones right here would be uh, like up on the roof or on the ceiling part. There should be an end, and then there's ones in the uh, along the along the ridge beam, I guess. I don't even know if you call it the peak of the roof. I guess these guys would be the corners to go down to like the legs and whatnot. No, I'm not exactly sure. Again, these guys have all feet. So I'm sure that they're, there's something with those together. Um, package of three together, package of three, package of two. So maybe they're not all the same. There's long ones. They're all packages of three, but seem like varying lengths. This guy here is a long one. 
There's a package of two. An oddball package of three. And a shorter oddball package of three. So I'm going to have to go through the bag here with the canvas tent. Roll that out and see if, uh, if there's some, some instructions in there. And uh, if not, then we'll, then we'll wing it. But I'm sure that uh, the number of pieces would make sense if you sit that back and think about it, of where everything should go. But uh, I'll look for directions here first. All right, so as I feared, suspected, I don't see any instructions. Uh, there's the fly. Good length. Seems pretty, uh, pretty rugged too. That's a, seems like a pretty good material, but no instructions. Now, here's the, uh, here's the canvas. Now, I'm not sure, but the way it looks like it came out of the package is they rolled it up widthwise, not lengthwise. Would have been nice to be, uh, lengthwise so when i unroll it it's down the whole length because the way you put this up over the rails you, you get the, the frame you get the roof and pitches and whatnot and you get one wall side up and then this see where my fingers yeah that's right so that and then this guy drapes over that half and then you manipulate the material and then you can up underneath the other side and put the walls up on the last side and then everything's good. But it's gonna be hard to do if it's width ways. We'll see, we'll play around. I'll, uh, if I can get the poles figured out, I'll get back to you and we'll go from there. All right. A little playing around and I think I got it figured out. So here's my here's my poles. This is the main tent right here. And then this over here will be the porch side. Right here. So I got two feet for the porch that will go down from that post and that one. Um, this will be I don't know the ridges of the roof they do that. I don't know what they're called. And this will be uh, the ridge, like the peak of the roof. This will be the wall and the wall. So these are the same size. So the peak, this way, and this way into the main tent. These two up to the peak. And these ones the feet down. And kind of same the same idea here. Peak side and side for three. Same with that one, so duplicate. These are the, there's three here. So one, two, three, up to the peak. This one here. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, these ones here. These ones here are the peak, up to the peak. Same with these ones, these are the legs. So two, one, two, Should be three. One, oh, two, three. Sorry, I can't see my screen. And then uh, the other three. One, two, three. And that's the frame. So that's that. Let's get to work. So things are coming together pretty good. Pretty quickly, actually, too. So let's see. I'd like to record the whole thing, but just the battery. Like, I already had to charge the battery once. But if I can somehow set this up, I still have the porch left to do. This is the main tent, aside, besides, focused on my hand, besides the feet. So, so let's see if I can record putting, just to give you an idea anyways, uh, putting the porch together. And then we'll do feet, and we'll drape it over. Probably going to be easy, uh, the best anyways, to do the canvas and the fly while it's down. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, to do the fly if it's all the way up. 
that's just gonna be a pain in the butt. So I'll do the fly at the same time I'm doing the canvas. I'll put the canvas on, figure out where we're uh, front and back and all that sort of stuff. And if it matters to the fly, then it'd be easy to do. I doubt it. Uh, it's not like we have, I, I, we have the chimney stack coming out the wall, not the ceiling. So I don't think that it really matters with the fly front and back with the with the tent 100 percent you gotta figure that out but uh, let me see if i can get this camera figured out uh on a good angle to at least see most of what i'm doing and yeah there you go my goodness what a pain in the butt it is to try to set up a phone i tell you i've got boxes stacked and uh, I'm going to have to get a stand of some sort and a uh, camera that can endure the battery uh, and the cold anyway. But it's getting in the warmer season, so that might not be a, a requirement until next winter. But it'll get better, I swear. All right. There's the porch. Sounds like there's some skidoers on the way by. They're probably going to be nosy and take a peek in. Yeah, come on on up and take a visit. Hey, so this is uh, day two. Uh, apologies, you uh, didn't see me set the whole thing up, but there it is. My uh, my phone died. It uh, just didn't have the battery to, to withstand the cold. Um, that skidoo that was coming up, it turned out to be a buddy of mine there. He uh, he stuck around and and uh, helped me set this up. There There is a little bit of, uh, I did record a little bit of us working together to get it up, but uh, it died halfway through. But I mean, there's a success. I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys uh, maybe a quick little tour and let you know what uh, what happened. And, and today I'm uh, you know working on a few things, but I'll, I'll post that in uh, another video um, coming up here. So this will just be the recap of uh, of day one setting this up. So here's the tent. Actually looks uh, looks really good. Um, there are some things about it that uh, that I'm not too particular about, but. You know, it, it's it is what uh, what it is. Um, I'll show you something in, inside. So again, it's a uh, so it's a 16 by 14 uh, canvas tent with a five uh, uh, five foot porch enclosed. So it makes it 21 feet. So here's the porch. Get some tools and stuff that was outside so this is this is actually really really nice this opens up i wish i had a bug nap but i mean it opens up and i can uh you know we can sit in there and both sides open up and can sit in there in the summertime if we come out but here's the main main uh area so there's a stove jack right here in the corner this is where the uh the oil drip will go i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the oil drip but uh you know Play around with it and see uh you know see if it does a good job and whatnot but it's dirty and, and i i like the wood i like chopping and and all that makes me feel like i'm doing something um windows i've got two windows now the way that they are um <laughs> you can see the pole that is right in front of them so i i, I don't know if that's intentional or I don't like it, but whatever. Uh, and the other thing is I have to go outside in order to open the window. I can't access it. You know, there's no Velcro to undo the, bu the bug net in here to undo the uh, exterior canvas or anything like that. So, you know, if I want to, you know, I want to breeze or I want to see who's coming up the trail with a snowmobile, I got to go outside and check. Hey, let's who's coming now oh, well, let's go open the window and walk outside open the window and come back in look through the windows who's coming ah 
on Swedish Wheels. I don't know. But I got to call them because I'm supposed to have a back door here too. Just like this. Uh, this has a uh, bug net. So this, this here's a bug net and this here's canvas. So both will zip down and one will zip up or the other will zip up. And I'm supposed to have another one back here. So I'm going to call them about that. I mean, it is what it is now. I'm not sending it back for them to fix it. And I they're going to come up here to, to, uh, to rectify it, but whatnot. But uh, yeah, no, there's, there's a few things here. Like, uh, you know, just readjust. Like it's not sitting exactly properly in the corner here. So you gotta kind of kind of twist the uh, the tent around a little bit to seat that a little bit better. This is supposed to be pre-shrunk, so it should be watertight. That's uh, that's the way it's advertised. Well, it's advertised as pre-shrunk, but that's what shrinking is supposed to do to it to make it watertight. So, but uh, you know, we'll see what it looks like when. I get everything tied down here properly. Right now, I just tied it down so the fly wouldn't fly away. But I mean, the uh, the roof there, you know, she, she doesn't look like she's pulled tight. So I'm a little afraid of a snow load uh, before we get out here in the winter winter time. I mean, but there's there's snow that flies, you know, uh, mid October, and we're not going to be able to get out here uh, on skidoo until December. So, I mean, there's going to be some snow sitting on top of that. So, I'm uh, a little afraid of that. Uh, but I, I would expect it to sit a little tighter, you know, being pretty strong. But I don't know. So, that's, that's a few things I'm not too particular about. I do like how, you know, the, uh, uh, the floor bends inside there. So, I can, uh, so whatever we do with the floor, we can lay on top of this. And then uh, no draft will come in. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with the floor. If we just do the gym mats or not. But, and then I'm going to cap the side of uh, the side of this deck here, there too. Just, uh, just to make it look good. I mean, the, uh, you don't need the box and the pallets or anything like that. But essentially it'll help with it. And then I'll tie these. I'll do some eye hooks or something. And the flies and in the canvas will will go straight down as opposed to out. Um, it'd be nice if if I could get something angled out. But maybe that's something to work on for next year. And that will pull the uh, that will pull the fly better. But I'm okay with this. Like I, it'll still drip off. So that's the tent. I uh, will end the episode there, I guess. We'll do another episode coming up and uh but now i'll show you the uh, the oil drip stove and and the finished product around the uh, the tent and uh the the structure the platform and whatnot so uh yeah you know thanks uh thanks for watching if you've made it this far um i appreciate it like i say this is my first video so go easy on me in the comments and stuff i'm <laughs> i'm not uh not too too smart with with uh, all this stuff uh, you know I, I i enjoy watching it um you know but uh making it i don't know but like i say um that's just uh the intention behind it you guys know what that is now but um but if you you know even if you are friends and family or or this made it out to the public somehow and and uh you're cruising along for the ride you know shoot me a comment uh shoot me a thumbs up and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff that uh, you're supposed to say, I guess, at the end of these things, bell notifications, and I don't know, uh, you know, link. I'm gonna link something here or there or something. I I got nothing to link, not yet. So, but uh, I I guess I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of spiel at the end of these things. But um, you know, catchphrase. I don't know. Shoot me a comment, and maybe uh, maybe I haven't made a catchphrase by the time that this thing posts, and you can tell me what my catchphrase is. Something I say at the end of every episode, like uh. Yeah. see you next time or you know if the women don't find you handsome something 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 whatever that show was um but uh yeah stay tuned thanks for coming out